Oh, we made it to the SM Mall here in Baguio. One of the really cool things I liked about this mall as soon as I got in here is that um, they don't have air conditioning. First off, they don't need it. Like, we're on top of this mountain here. But all the openings to the mall are wide open. So, uh, this should be an example. Like, kind of see, like there's this, uh, there's this, like, garage door thing at all the entrances. So, like, I guess if there was, like, a windstorm or something like that, they could put the garage door down. But it's like wide open, so all the air from the mountain just flows through the place. And so you're like, you're walking around in a mall, but you can't believe, you're like, where's this wind coming from in this cool air? It's actually just coming from outside. It's awesome. So here's a little bit of the view. You can see, I don't know how good the GoPro does. You can kind of see the right park down there with the um, with the swans and everything and uh, you know the boats and over here you can see in the background there's that uh, I think it's a Catholic church that's one of the tourist attractions people come and explore I don't know whether we'll go there or not I see a police station down right there to the right Where that overpass is, straight ahead there, um, just to the left of that, I believe is the market. Uh, let's see what else we can see from up here. University of Cor Cordilleras, I think is right here. And then right down there, where these buses are, that's the... Uh, that's the bus station, or at least one of the bus deep depots or whatever. Um, we got off the bus there when we first got here. I'm not sure if we can catch a bus from there uh, whenever we're going. We're leaving here on uh, uh, Monday. We're going to La Onion. I'm not sure if we can catch a bus there or not. All this on the left side here, it looks like Victory Liners. And I was looking at the Victory Liner routes. The Victory Liner routes, you can get to La Onion, but they take you like an hour and a half south first. I don't know if you have to get on another bus or they just wait and pick up people there. And then, then they come another hour and a half north, so it ends up taking you three hours or three and a half hours to get to La Onion. Whereas this Partas bus, Partas, and that's those two blue ones right there, the Partas bus is dra uh, a direct shot to the Onion. You get there in about an hour and a half. So that's going to be probably the bus we take. But I don't know if this is where we get on it. There's a couple of other bus um, stations or bus terminals here in, in Baguio. So I'm just not sure. You know, there's no websites to tell you these things. And I'm just Googling it and trying to find out from Facebook and other people's conversations how to get around and how to navigate it but the cool thing is I think it's only like a hundred pesos so you get you know you can get the long in for a couple of bucks a nice view though what a beautiful view the view would be a lot better if it wasn't all that cloud cover moving in but Everybody tells us, like, it's like that here all the time. It's just kind of like a gloomy, which is really nice for white-skinned people, man, because the rest of our time in the Philippines is going to be me trying to hide from the sun. You know? Not because I hate the heat. I've, I've grown to like the heat, although this is really nice. It's probably like 65 degrees. Like, and I think it's like 65 to 70-something year-round, which is perfect. But um, I've grown accustomed, and as I get older, I kind of, I kind of rather prefer the heat. But the sun just scorches me. I mean, just absolutely crushes me. I turn bright red. I hurt all over. Um, but I haven't had to worry about that here, which is nice. 
but I am looking forward to the beach. La Union is the surfing capital of the north. I don't know whether I'll get an opportunity to try some surfing or not, but uh, I am going to enjoy relaxing on the beach, maybe get a nice fresh mango shake, just enjoy retirement, you know, just enjoy it. Not that I haven't been already. So far, there hasn't been a single day that I woke up here and said, boy, I wish I was at work right now. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. I think probably the way inflation's going and everything, it's not going to be long that I'm going to have to go to work. Thanks, Biden. But uh, for now, life is good, my friends. A monster of a mall just keeps going and going you can go off to the right off to the left off in every direction I think it's I think the mall just covers this entire mountain I shouldn't say mountain this is one huge mountain I think with a bunch of smaller mountains but I think it just covers this whole hill the whole top of this hill They have a, um, almost like a park area up here on the roof of the mall, which is pretty cool. This reminds me a, a little bit of the SMC side in Cebu. They have a park on the top of the mall too. It goes the whole way around it. even 
better view from up here than it was on the uh, third floor or second floor. I think it was third floor that I was on earlier that I took video. I love the malls over here. Trying to find my wife. It's almost like majestic with all that cloud cover moving in over top like rolling in over top of the hills Dunkin Donuts. I guess not only America runs on Dunkin, the Philippines runs on Dunkin. Tell me this isn't beautiful. 